Good evening, people. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Oscar. Good evening, Hector, Maria. Uh, let me see. All right. All right, Hector. I got I got it. Okay. And Gerardo say hello. All right. Good. And Jonathan, good to see you here, Jonathan. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, so people are just starting to get into the class. Maria says good evening. So good evening. Okay, you can open your microphone whenever you want. Okay, now Norman, that's better, right? Not to see you. Hello, Norma. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Uh, good evening. Okay, let us wait a little bit. We're still missing like a couple of minutes. Okay, so we're going to wait for a while. Okay, give me one second. All right, so hope that you are okay. I can see, well, Maricela got into the class. Hi. Hi. Oh, I'm sorry to know about it, Maria, okay? I am sorry to know about it. Hey, I can see Rona over here, Rona, nobody. Hi, hi, teacher. Good to see you in the class, okay? Okay, let us wait a little bit. We are almost on time, okay? Then I will check the list of attendance. We're going to start a new topic about uh, prepositions of place. Uh, we are, well, actually, you are going to perform the conversation, okay, that you were practicing yesterday. Well, I will listen to a couple of uh, pairs so, of teams well, so that I can notice that you have been practicing the conversation. Uh, well, we're going to go over some uh, ways to provide directions in English. We're going to have some listening activities and you will see. We're going to get some vocabulary. We're going to work in the, in, in, the, in the PDF guide. Okay. So we have a lot to do tonight. Today is Wednesday and, um, you know, we're missing, um, actually we're gonna, we're gonna have classes next Monday and next Tuesday. I was just checking my email and I noticed that uh, the, the, the level finishes on May the 30th, okay? May the 30th will be the last day you're gonna be with me. Then you're gonna, you're gonna move to another level of English, all right? Okay, so welcome to everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's a pleasure to see you. Remember to activate your camera, that's important. Okay, I have like 11 people so far, so. Uh, with ten, well, yeah, 11 people, right? 11 people. Gladys got into the class now. So that's fantastic. So I will check. Thank you, Gladys, for activating your, your camera. That's quite good. Okay. Uh, well, uh, Aidan says hello, Aidan. Actually, hello, Aidan. Good evening. Good evening. And Vidal says good evening also, right? So I will check the list of things. Okay. But the first time. And do me the favor to say hello there, right? So that I can I can see how many people do I have at the beginning of the class. Then I have Aidan, it's over there, right? Aidan, uh, Allison, Andra Raquel, Camelia. 
Dina Maribel. Dina, are you there? Okay, Dina Maribel, give me a second. Gerardo Emanuel. Gilberto Antonio. Gladys. Present teacher. Okay. Hector Salvador. I saw Hector there. Hector is there. Henry Ernesto. Isabel. Isabel is absent. Jonathan Josué. Okay, very good. Mayra Norabel. María Elba is there. I saw María Elba. Maricela, I also saw Maricela. Eh, Norma Xiomara. Present teacher. Good. Oscar Josué. Present teacher. Ronan. Present teacher. Salvador Santiago. Somebody's typing that. Hey, Salvador, are you over here? Now, Mayra got it. Let me see. Alison said present. Maria, Alison, and Gerardo. Okay. Yeah, Vera Liz. Present teacher, good okay. evening. Good evening, Pidal. Present teacher. And Claudia Veronica. Claudia's not over here yet. Okay, very good. I have two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen people connected. Let me see what it says. I have sent you here. Well, anyways, I will check the list of attendance a second time later. Okay, Zarlin is here also. All right. So I will check it later. Don't worry. That was the first time I have normal here. Okay. Yeah, normal side right here. Let me see what about Mayra? Yeah, Mayra got into the class. Hello, Mayra. I wonder if Henry got into the class. Yesterday I didn't see Henry. Henry, are you over here? No. Okay. Hola, teacher. Yeah. Hello, Aidan. I, I, I think you are facing some problems with microphone. And also here. Oye, oye, sí. Me escucha. Yeah, Aidan. Sí. Now I can listen to ¿Cómo? you. Sí, comunicarle que Henry, pues, él cambió de trabajo en la empresa, trabajaba allí mismo. Right. Entonces, por alguna razón, ya, ya no sigue conectando. Me uh, imagino. Sí. Y, yeah, eh, en, en, sí, acá, a, ayer visualicé que no se conectó, ahora no lo veo conectado. Pues esperemos que siga asistiendo, ¿verdad? Porque ya estamos a, en, la, en los últimos días. Sí. Ajá. Si tiene el contacto de él o, o le puede avisar, pues, que se nos siga uniendo, ¿verdad? Ya estamos prácticamente el día martes, terminamos con, lo, con el curso de básico y creo que Henry ha sido muy constante. Sí, correcto. Uh -huh. 
Sí, sí de acuerdo, Eira. Le voy a agradecer, Eira. Ok. Ok, people. We're going to start tonight uh, by asking about the conversation you have been practicing, right? So yesterday you, you saw a video. I, I know that you have been watching the video and practicing the vocabulary, right? So I told you, right, that I was going to ask you about it. So uh, I will ask Norma and I will ask Camelia to tell me the conversation. Okay, we started to practice yesterday. Remember, prepositions of time were there and also uh, sometime expressions that we studied in a class, okay? The what time expression, well, actually that conversation was quite good. So uh, no, I, I, Okay, Norma, okay. Uh, Camelia, are you ready? Uh, you were not in the class yesterday, Norma? No. Ah, Camelia was video. not in the class. Camelia was not in the class, okay. But Norma, yes, right? So Norma and Oscar, no. please. Uh, yo no lo tengo a la mano, escrito. Have you, you didn't trabajando? do it? Lo dejé en la casa. Okay, let us try. Sarbling and Oscar. Empiezo. Ya yo que ya está. Sorry. You are late. What time it is? Two minutes after six. I am not late. Two minutes is late. Yes, it is. It's two minutes late. Oh, look. It's five to six. I am early. So, for your birthday on Saturday, there's a great French movie at the Avalon. There's basketball game on Saturday night. Or there's play at uh, the art center at 8 p.m. Life is a dream. The Tiger air playing games. You know basketball. Oh, look, there, there's a Mozart concert on Saturday. Would you like to go? What time? Half past Seven. Chival games and seven. Oh wow! There's a talk um, by the writer Ellen Lee at the the university. On Saturday night. Mm. Uh, ahí tiene que seguir donde dice Is your birthday on Saturday? No, it's your birthday. Would you like to go a baseball game for your birthday? A uh, basketball game. That song Greeks. Finish. Okay, that sounds great. Okay, that sounds great. Hey, your conversation sounds great. Okay, thanks for uh, for practicing. The conversation was quite good. Thank you, Sarlim. Thank, thank you, uh, Oscar. Well, I need two more volunteers. I need two more volunteers. Okay, volunteers, volunteers. Because I don't remember about people who, who have told me that you were be like as listeners on here. Uh, well, I don't know if Alison and Ada, no, Alison and, and Vidal. Are you ready? Well, Alison said he, he's gonna be as a listener tonight. Well, let's see, Vidal and Vera Liz. Uh, uh. Okay. <laughs> okay, are you ready, Vera Liz? I'm ready. Okay, Vidal, are you ready? Hola, hola. 
Okay, now you are ready. Okay, so well, who starts? Peralis starts. Okay, you're late. What time is it? Two minutes after six. I am not late. Two minutes isn't late. Yes, is it? It's two minutes late. Oh, look, it's five to six. I am early. So, for your birthday on Saturday, there's a great French movie at the Avalon. There is a basketball game Saturday night. Or there's a play at the Art Center at 8 p.m. Life is a dream. The children are playing the hand you know, basketball. Oh, look, there's a monster concert on Saturday. Would you like to go? What time? Half past seven. The ball games at seven. Oh, wow. There's a tap by the writer, Ellen Lee, on, at the university on. On um, Saturday night, is your birthday on Saturday? No, it's your birthday. Would you like to go to a baseball game for your birthday? A uh, basketball game? That sounds great. That sounds, that sounds great. Hey, that sounds great. Thank you, Vidal. That sounds Thank great. you, Veralis. That, that was fantastic. Okay. Yeah, well, I really like uh, when you when you practice English. Okay, it's a, a, a conversation, a, a really nice conversation. And well, I I can notice that you have been practicing. Okay, I wonder if the, there are some some volunteers. Si no hay voluntarios, hay algún voluntario más que quiera decirnos la conversación. Okay, uh, oh, okay, Adam. Okay, volunteers. No more volunteers. Okay, si no hay más voluntarios, comenzamos entonces con la clase. All right. So, welcome, people. Uh, I was, let me see, there's somebody, maybe someone wants to. No, that's Aiden. Okay, Ada. Okay, Ada, I got your message. Okay, don't worry. Whenever you you get home, you can activate your camera. There's an, no any problem. Okay, I have um, 17 people connected, and I hope well that we're gonna we're gonna have a great time together tonight, as we usually have in a class. Uh, let me tell you that the course, the basic English course, finishes on Tuesday, the thirtieth. Tuesday the 30th, okay? So, well, you have a lot of activities in the platform. Also, you have the final test this week. And the next week, you know, we're gonna have a couple of, of uh, classes and so that we can have some practice just to finish with the course. Okay, uh, but tonight we have a topic, okay? Ah, oh, well, we're gonna have the review as we usually have a review in the, in the platform. Okay, so in the platform, we're still dealing with prepositions of time, right? So give me a second, because I need to go over it. Uh, session three, we're still there. Okay, and but we're at the end. Today, we're going to start a new topic, people. Yesterday, uh, we were practicing some some vocabulary, right? Some vocabulary, grammar, we, we got a general review about the topic we have been studying lately and now it's time to have some review, okay? Review about what happened yesterday. Somehow we're gonna see some exercises over here uh, that are gonna be helpful, okay? So, but we have some some expressions, okay, that we, we, we're gonna start um, talking about soon, okay? 
And for example, in the first exercise, that this is the homework number 15, okay? And, um, you know, there is a person who serves food. Where does that person work? At a restaurant, at school, or at a pet shop? Restaurant. Okay. Restaurant. She serves food at a restaurant. They build houses. Where's that? Maybe the bakery, the flower shop, or the construction site. That is the construction yeah. site. Good. She teaches English at a school. garden, a school, or a cool. coffee shop. At school? School. Cool. Okay. She plays instruments at a concert, at a drugstore, or a great shop. Concert hall. This is a concert. A concert hall. All right. And they love animals, so that means that they are politicians, or maybe they are very veterinarian or astronomers. Veterinarian. They are veterinarian. That's it, right. Well, that was quite easy. That was a piece of cake. <laughs> that was a piece of cake, right? Now, the person who serves the food, was what, what is the profession? Chef. Chef, Chef. right? Uh, what is the profession about the, the person who built houses? You say construction site, but there is a different way to say, how do you say albañil in English? How do you say albañil in English? Can you look for it? It's because How do you say albañil? Maybe you can type it in the chat. Um, build men, no. Um, um, no sé. Look for it in Google, okay? How do you uh, say albañil? Construction worker. Okay, maybe construction worker, but what about if you look for the one that says bricklayer? Bricklayer is actually a, an albañil, right? Bricklayer, mm. because uh, that, that is a different way to say that. Now, the person who teaches teacher. is a teacher, right? The, the person who plays instruments mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, Claudia, got mm. it? Musician. Ah, a musician, right? Remember about that word. That was kind of difficult to learn. Uh, what about the person who loved animals? Veterinarian. That's a veterinarian, right? Very good. All right. So, well, actually, we finish with week number three. And right now, we're going to go over a new topic, but that topic belongs to the week number four. Okay. Week number four. And uh, what is the topic for tonight, people? How to use preposition of place. How to use prepositions of place. Now, we already studied about prepositions of time. Yes or no? What, wh or which are the prepositions of time? Add in on. Add in on. And we have been practicing yesterday. We practiced a lot about, about uh, prepositions of time. Yes or no? Yesterday we were like uh, at nine, at seven, uh, on Mondays, in January, on January the 22nd, etc. We were practicing a lot there. And also we practiced a conversation that was quite good. Okay. About a, about a date, right? So they were planning an activity on on Saturday, right? As far as I remember about the conversation, the guy is having his birthday. Is that right? And that's why when they finally decided to go to a baseball game. Okay, so but tonight we're going to go over the prepositions of place. Okay, 
So in order to start with the topic, I have some uh, some links that appear in the book. Okay, so so that we can start by by. Uh, let me see if it is this one. No, 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 no. This is this is something else. Okay, so let me see. This is the one. Yeah. So we're gonna start practicing some audio in audio. Actually, I have two. Okay. Now this is for giving directions, and this is for listening to specific information. Okay. So we need to we need to be um to to pay special attention. Okay, because this is a time where we're gonna put into practice our listening. All right, listening in English. Okay. Now, for example, I have some questions over here. Can, who can help me to read the questions, people? Where's the first question we have here? My goodness. No, 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 no. I'm sorry, but I, I only, I, I want you to read the questions only. Okay, where are the questions? Where is, where is the question on here? Can somebody help me to read questions, please? Pueden irme ayudando a leer las preguntas. When is Steve going up with Jennifer? Hey, when is Steve going out with Jennifer? When? Remember about this double H question, right? When? When is used to talk about time? Yes or no? When? So it may be on Friday, it may be on Saturday, it may be on Sunday. It all depends on what we listen to. Second question. Now, who can help me with second question, people? Where is the movie theater? Hey, where is the movie theater? Well, the, they are gonna mention something, okay, about numbers. You need to be uh, um, pay special attention about the number you listen to. This is number one, number two, number four, number 12. Okay, one, two, four, 12. Now, next question. Can somebody help me with it? Uh huh. Where is the restaurant located? Where is the restaurant located? All right. Now, actually, I think we need to see the the, the map first. And I think this is the no. We have another one, right? So we have two more. And the next one is: What time does the restaurant close on Sundays? Uh huh. At, at noon. Oh, that, that this is midnight, right? at uh, 11 p.m. or at uh, half past 10. And where is the florist? But in order to identify the places, and we need to see, we need to see, for example, the, the, the numbers over here. So over here we have number one. Where is number one? We're gonna listen to it, pay attention. Hey Renee, do you happen to know where the movie theater is downtown? The one near the hospital? Yeah, why do you wanna know? Well, on Monday, I asked Jennifer out on a date for this coming Saturday night. Wow, you've really been seeing a lot of her lately. Sounds great. Okay, write down these directions so you don't get lost. Okay, go ahead. First, drive down First Street going west, cross the river and keep going straight until Pine Street. Until Pine Street, right? Right. Then turn left, and the movie theater is the second building on the right. It's next to the church. Second building on the right. Got it. Now, can you recommend any nice restaurants? Yeah, the Pink Flamingo serves excellent Spanish food. Well, where's that? Well, starting from the movie theater, go south on Pine Street, cross 2nd Street, and drive to 3rd Street. You'll see a parking lot on the left side of the street. Okay so far? A parking lot on the left. Okay. Then what? Okay. Then turn left on 3rd Street and drive east. The Pink Flamingo is the building just before the river on the left side. I think it's open weekdays from 10.30 in the morning to 11.30 at night, but it stays open until midnight on weekends. 
Okay, I think I've driven by there before. Oh, last thing. Where can I buy some flowers? We're going to out to celebrate Jennifer's birthday. Well, the only florist I know is in front of the stadium on 2nd Street. Try that one. Great. Thanks a lot. All right. So, a lot of information in the conversation, right? So, where is the name of this street, people? ¿Cómo se llama esta calle? Song Street. This is the Song Street. Where is the name of this street? Pine Street. Okay, this street is the Sun Street. This street is the Pine Street. Pine Street. Yeah, what's what's the name of this street? Gray Street. This is a Gray Street. What about this? Star Street. Okay, and we have a final street. Where is the name of this street? Fair Street. That's first street, right? So this is the first street, first street, and this is the third street, right? And also, this is the second street. This is the second, right? First street, second street, and this is the third street, right? So That's we're true. getting familiarized with the information that the people are saying in the audio, okay? So now that we identify the, the streets, now let us identify the places. Where is this place? Hotel. The hotel, right? So where is this place? Church. The, the church. Where is this place? Post office. office. This is the post office, right? So... The hotel belongs to number one, if I'm not mistaken. Church is number 12, and the post office is the number two, right? So what about this, people? Bus terminal. This is the bus terminal. Okay. And what about this? High school. This is the, the high school. Now keep it in mind. Now, in the city, we can also uh, get or encounter the stadium, right? What about this? Park. This is the park. What about this? Park. Okay, this is the mall. Now, what else can we find there? The museum, Sale. right? Museum, what else? Supermarket. The supermarket. We have also the computer, computer shop. shop. Now, how do you say the the, the 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 way this is the north, that's this is the east, this is the south, so this is the west. We also have the sport club, we have the parking lot, and we have the pharmacy. Okay, now we're gonna listen to it again. Okay, and we're gonna see if, if we do, if you don't get it, okay, don't worry because we're gonna get back to the map. Okay, now when is Steve going now uh, with Jennifer? Now when we're gonna listen to it and then you will tell me when, when. Hey Renee, do you happen to know where the movie theater is downtown, the one near the hospital? Yeah, why do you want to know? Well, on Monday I asked Jennifer out on a date for this coming Saturday night. Uh-huh. When Monday. is Steve going out with Jennifer? Us. Have he said Monday? Monday? Now let me see. We, we don't we don't got we, we didn't get it. We're gonna we are gonna listen to the whole audio, okay? Right? So so that we can get the whole idea. Here we go. Hey Renee, do you happen to know where the movie theater is downtown? The one near the hospital. Yeah, why do you want to know? Well, on Monday, I asked Jennifer out on a date for this coming Saturday night. Wow! You've really been seeing a lot of her lately. Sounds great. Okay, write down these directions so you don't get lost. Okay, go ahead. First, drive down First Street, going west. Cross the river and keep going straight until Pine Street. Until Pine Street, right? Right. Then turn left. And the movie theater is the second building on the right. It's next to the church. Second building on the right. Got it. Now, can you recommend any nice restaurants? Yeah, the Pink Flamingo serves excellent Spanish food. Well, where's that? 
Well, starting from the movie theater, go south on Pine Street, cross 2nd Street, and drive to 3rd Street. You'll see a parking lot on the left side of the street. Okay so far? A parking lot on the left. Okay. Then what? Okay. Then turn left on 3rd Street and drive east. The Pink Flamingo is the building just before the river on the left side. I think it's open weekdays from 10.30 e in the morning to 11.30 at night, but it stays open until midnight on weekends. Okay. I think I've driven by there before. Oh, last thing. Where can I buy some flowers? We're going to out to celebrate Jennifer's birthday. Well, the only florist I know is in front of the stadium on 2nd Street. Try that one. Great. Thanks a lot. Okay, now, in order to, to advance, we're going to check. Now, you will tell me the answer, okay, what, according to what you listen to. When is Steve going now with Jennifer? Friday, Saturday, or Sunday? Saturday. Saturday. Quite good. What did Steve say? He said, well, on Monday, I asked Jennifer out on a date for this coming Saturday night, right? On Monday, he asked, okay, he asked Jennifer to go out, but not on Monday, but on Saturday, okay? Where's the movie theater? 12, 4, 2, or 1? 12, 4, 2, or 1? 12, 4, where is 4? 4, 2, or 1? Is that the hotel, the church, or the cafe? Um, 12. 12. Quite good. Now, a right in town left in the movie theater is uh, the second building on the right. It's next to the church. What is next to the church, people? 12. Yeah. <clears throat> next to the church. That's number 12. Okay? Very good. Where is the restaurant located? Number 6, 14, 8, or 11. We're looking for the restaurant, right? Where is the restaurant located? I don't know. Look, look right here. No, I mean, it's because it's a number, right? Where's no. the next restaurant located? 6, 14, 8, or 11? 6, 14, 8, or 11? So 6, 14, 8, or 11. Let's see where is 11. Oh, 11 is over here. Okay, so which of those numbers? Tell me one so that we can discover it. Where's the restaurant located? Tell me one number so that we can see it in the map. Six, 14, eight, or 11. You wanna listen to it again? Yes, please. Okay, now pay attention because we're missing this one, right? We want to get a 10 over here. Now, where is the restaurant located? So. We're gonna see we're gonna see the map. Remember about the numbers 6, 14, 18, 11. And what time does the restaurant close on Sundays? And the last one is where's the florist? Where's the florist? 15, 6, 10, or 5. 15, 6, 10, or 5. Now let's go over the audio and let's see the map. I think it's better if we see the map, right? So, here we go. Hey, Renee, do you happen to know where the movie theater is downtown? The one near the hospital. Yeah, why do you want to know? 
Well, on Monday, I asked Jennifer out on a date for this coming Saturday night. Wow! You've really been seeing a lot of her lately. Sounds great. Okay, write down these directions so you don't get lost. Okay, go ahead. First, drive down First Street, going west. Cross the river and keep going straight until Pine Street. Until Pine Street, right? Right. Then turn left. And the movie theater is the second building on the right. It's next to the church. Second building on the right. Got it. Now, can you recommend any nice restaurants? Yeah, the Pink Flamingo serves excellent Spanish food. Well, where's that? Well, starting from the movie theater, go south on Pine Street, cross 2nd Street, and drive to 3rd Street. You'll see a parking lot on the left side of the street. Okay so far? A parking lot on the left. Okay. Then what? Okay. Then turn left on 3rd Street and drive east. The Pink Flamingo is the building just before the river on the left side. I think it's open weekdays from 10.30 e in the morning to 11.30 at night, but it stays open until midnight on weekends. Okay. I think I've driven by there before. Oh, last thing. Where can I buy some flowers? We're going to out to celebrate Jennifer's birthday. Well, the only florist I know is in front of the stadium on 2nd Street. Try that one. Great. Thanks a lot. All right, so I think we got a clearer idea, right? It's kind of, uh, uh, they speak pretty, really far, but, you know, we're going to get it anyways. Now, where's the restaurant located? 11. Well, uh, Rene said, well, uh, well, starting from the movie theater, go south to Pine Street, cross Second Street, and right to the third street, you'll see a parking lot on the left side of the street. Okay, so far? Now, that is on the third street, right? Third street, number 11. Third street, this is the one, right? This is the one, number 11. Good. Now, what time does the restaurant close on Sundays? 11. <laughs> At 11. Oh, my oh. goodness. It said, I think it's, um, it's open um, weekdays from 10.30 in the morning to 11.30 at night. Yeah, it's all right. No, don't worry. Don't worry. It's okay. But okay. it stays open until midnight. Yeah, on the weekends, right? So that was that was the the, the tricky part because they, they didn't mention any any hour, right? They didn't say 12, 11, or half past ten. No, they said midnight. That was tricky. Okay. And the last one, where's the florist? 15, um, 6, 10, or 5. 15, 6, 6, mm -hmm. or 5. Now look at the map. Fifteen, six, eight. So what, what? Which one was the other one? Number five, right? Uh -huh, people. Where's the florist? Mm -hmm. Where is it? Fifteen, six, ten, or five. Tell me a number so that we can check it in the map. Maybe six? I don't know. Number six, well, was number 10, actually. Well, the only florist I know is in front of the stadium on 2nd Street. Try that one. 2nd Street in front of the stadium. 2nd Street. 2nd Street. This is the first. This is the second in front of the stadium over here, right? Mm -hmm. No, it's on the other side, right? It's number 10, so it's in front of it. Okay, over here is behind, and over here is in front of. Okay, yeah, it's because it's 2nd Street, okay? Second, this is 1st Street. 
okay? This is second street. Okay, well, we got a, a, an idea on how to provide directions in English, right? So we, uh, well, I will share the link so that you can, you can keep uh, practicing. I really love this kind of exercises because you practice your listening. You are, you are um, putting in it into practice your listening. Now it's going to be in the chat. So that you can go and continue practicing the, the exercise. This is a good exercise actually, right? So you can, um, you can uh, go over it and get a 10, okay? If you want to get a 10, go, go and study the information and also um, analyze it. Okay, now we're gonna, we're, I, I will try to introduce now the talk by having another listening, okay? But before going to that part, uh, this is easier, right? Because over here we're gonna go and do the preparation exercise before you listen to then do the other exercises to check your understanding similar to the other one but uh, this is going to be easier now for example we're gonna we're gonna learn uh, i will try to introduce some expressions in english to provide directions okay now how do you say this in english people this you have turn left, round about, go past, turn right, go straight on, take the second left, traffic lights next to, take the second right, opposite. Once again, turn left, round about. Okay, what's turn left, people? ¿Cómo dicen eso en español? Tire a la izquierda. Uh -huh. So, which is, what is the correct one over here? Number one, number two, or number three? Number one. Number one. Number one. Okay. Number one, turn left. Okay. Now, uh, turn right. Number one, number two, or number three? Number two. Number two. Number two. Now, how do you say this in English? Go straight on. Excellent. Go straight on. Go straight on. How do you say this in English? You have someone here, right about, go past, take the second left, traffic lights next to, take the second right, opposite. Take the second left. Okay, Rona, very good, I got your message. Okay, take the second left. Yeah. Take the second left. That's, that's, the direction that we are receiving. What about this one? Round about, go past traffic lights next to, take the second right or opposite? Take the second right. Take the second right. Now, what about this one? Look at, the, let's imagine these are buildings, right? This is the street and this, these are the buildings. Now, right about, go past traffic lights next to opposite. Traffic lights? No. Traffic lights? Hmm? No. <laughs> now, what are traffic lights, people? It's, it's maybe because you haven't you haven't seen everything, right? Mm -hmm. Now, look at the traffic pictures. Traffic lights is a mahal. Ah, all right. So, how do you say this in English? Well, we're going to discover it. Okay, now tell me one, please. Okay. Have right about go past the uh, traffic lights next to or opposite. Next to. Okay, let's see if it is next to. All right. What about this one? Buildings. These are buildings, this is a street. We have right about, go past, traffic light, opposite. 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 Let's see. 
All right, what about this one? The only ones we have right about go past traffic lights. Go past. Go past. And we have two exercises more. We have only right about and traffic lights. Where is this Round one? Up. Round about. This is the roundabout. All right. So automatically we know that these are and traffic lights. The traffic lights. Let's see. We're gonna we're gonna finish it and we're gonna see the answers, okay? Let me see. Wow, we we got a hundred percent. Quite good people. You are very smart. Excellent, Maria. Maria is participating in the chat also. Now, now that we know the 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 the, the vocabulary. Uh, let's repeat after me, please. Turn left. Turn left. Turn right. Turn right. Turn. Turn right. Turn. Turn right. Go straight on. Go, Go straight. straight on. Take a second left. Take a second left. This is the first. This is the second. That's what we're looking for. Take a second right. Second. second right, right. First right, second right. Next two. Next, next two. Opposite. 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 Go past. Go, Go past. past. Right about. Right about. Traffic lights. Traffic lights. Now, now with this information, we are ready to listen to the audio we have here. But first off, let us get familiar with the with the map. Where is this? Roundabout. This is the roundabout, right? Okay. What is the name of the road that we have here? Let me see. Let's imagine, let's imagine we are over here. Okay, we are over here. We're gonna start. Now we're gonna have it clearer because now we know where we start. We are supposed to be here, okay? And, you know, we have Green Street. This is Green Street, okay? Green Street, okay. This is the Bond Street, okay. Uh, then we got to the King's Road. <laughs> this is the King's Road. This is the roundabout. And we have different places so that we can see. I think this map is, is clearer. Now, we have the hospital, hospital. over here. Yeah, hospital, police station, police station, supermarket, supermarket, bookshop, bookshop, bus station, bus station. Yeah, don't say bus station. No, it's very if you say como que fuera solo una s. Bus station, bus station, the cinema, the cinema, the theater, theater, underground station. Underground the station. station, the cafe, cafe, Italian restaurant, Italian restaurant, shop, shop, oh. post office, post office, library, library, the museum, museum, and a factory, okay. right? Factory. And a factory. Now we're gonna we're gonna play the track, okay? And then we're going to check our understanding, okay? Uh, we have some uh, information over here. Okay, you will tell me about the speaker gives the gradations to the, the speak, speaker A. We have speaker B, speaker C, speaker D. Okay, we have one, two, three, and four participations, okay? So you will tell me where is the last Oh, where is the direction they are providing, okay? I have the script over here, okay? But, you know, the purpose is to do it first by listening to, okay? Are you ready? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I will pause it. I will pause it when, when whenever the, 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 the speaker A finishes and so that you can tell me about the place. A. 
Go straight on, then take the first left onto Green Street. Walk past the library, and it's the building next to the library on the left. Uh -huh. Where is that? Where is that place? Wanna listen to it again? Post office. All right. Okay, let's see. It says post office, right? Post office. All right, post office. Now, speaker B. B. Go straight on, go past the traffic lights, you'll see a shop on the right. Go past that and it's on the right next to the shop. Uh-huh, where's that place? Where's that place, people? Wanna listen to it again? Underground station. The underground station. Let's see. All right, we got number uh, the letter B. Let's go over the letter C. C. Go straight on. Go past the traffic lights and go straight on until you get to the roundabout. At the roundabout, turn left. Go past the theatre. It's the building next to the theatre, opposite the hospital. Uh -huh. Where is that place, people? Mm -hmm. Cinema, cin ¿cómo se dice? No recuerdo. The cinema? cinema. There's see talked about the cinema, right? And the last speaker. D. Go straight on, go past the traffic lights, and take the second right onto King's Road. Go past the bookshop. It's the building next to the bookshop opposite the cafe. All right. This recording was brought to you by the British Council. To find others like it, visit www.britishcouncil.org forward slash learn English teens. Uh -huh. Where is it? Where is the building? Where's the last building, people? Mm. Oh. Where's the last building? It's bus station. The bus station. All right. Let's see. It's a bus station. Bus station. The bus station. So we got the seventy-five percent. I wonder what happened. The speaker gives directions to the post office. Was not the post office. Let me see if it was not the post office. Yeah, actually, it was the post office. I don't know why I we didn't get it right. Quizás lo dijiste mal yo. Okay, pero si era la 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 oficina de correo. All right, so the post office, pretty good. Now, people, quite good, excellent information, excellent uh, participation. Now, I will share the link over here. I, I will share this link to you so that you can see it, but you don't, right? Go and investigate it because you know you have the you have the script. So that you can see and listen to perfectly to what they are saying. 
Okay, the first one goes straight on to the first left on the Green Street, walk past the walk past the library, and it's the building next to the library on the left. That was the post office, right? So and you can see exactly what they were saying. I really love these kind of exercises because you listen to, but you can also read what they say. And that was quite fantastic. Okay, now, now that we have introduced the topic. Oh my goodness. Okay, now that we have um, introduced the topic, I, I will go over some some exercises. So here, but first off, I will I will I will oh, we're gonna see some some propositions that we can use to provide directions or to give give directions and provide location. Sorry, that's the that's the purpose. Look at it. Well, the listening was quite good, right? I love the listening exercise because we could practice a lot. But now we're gonna we're gonna see in detail the prepositions. Okay, which are the prepositions of place, and uh, how. How can we ask for directions and how can we provide directions in English? All right. Uh, can you see the info, people? Yes. Yeah. All right. So you're going to help me, please. Now, what do you see over here? How do you say this in English? Um... How do you say manzana in English? People. It's an apple, right? It's an apple. How do you say caja in English? Box. Okay. So the apple is top of the house. On. On. Okay. On the box. The apple is on the box. Under the box. The yeah. apple is in the box. In the box. The apple is inside the box. Uh, inside. No. Inside. Inside. Next to Mary. Next to. Uh, oh, it's in front of. Well, we're gonna discover it. Because you know we have this one and we have this one and this is different from this one, okay? Eso es diferente de esta, okay? Lo vamos a ir descubriendo. How do you say this in English? Oh, where is the apple? Behind. Okay, behind. Behind, behind. the apple over here. On. On. Over. But you say okay, yeah. over on. Okay, we're gonna see which is the correct one. What about this one? In front, um, no, no, in we said this is in front, so this one will be next to, and this one mm -hmm. under, okay, under, and this one between. Between. Okay, now let's go over it, please. Let's see what's coming. Okay, above. Okay, the above. Above. Below. Above. Now, below. keep it in mind because below. below, above will be different from this one and below will be different from this one, okay? In or inside, you have two options, okay? In or inside a box. So, in, front. in front of, in front of. Behind. behind, you say behind or behind or behind. De las dos maneras se pronuncia. Behind or behind. On. Oh. Now you see, this is above, above, and this is on. Oh. Okay, above, on. Next to. Under. Under. Now you see, different from below, right? Below, under. Above, on. Okay, so keep keep it in mind. Between, 
All right, very good. Now we got it, right? Now, this one is opposite. Opposite. Okay, we saw it in the exercise. Lo vimos en el ejercicio del audio. Ahí habían este, buildings. Ahorita lo estaban viendo con manzana, okay? So the red apple is opposite to the green apple. Opposite. Now, there, there is a question that you need to know. Where is it? ¿A dónde está? Where is it? Uh -huh. Where is it? Oh. On. Very good. Where is it? Next to. Next to. Very good. Where is it? Behind. Behind. Okay. Behind. Where is it? In front in of. Front. In front. In front of. Very good. Where is it? Between. It's, it's between. Between. Where are they? Opposite. 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 Where is it? Under. 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 Very good. Now, and, and you can see different, different expressions, right? About uh, different things that can be placed in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a bedroom, for example. Now the computer is on the table. Um, the, the, the toys are above the desk. Okay, and you can see where, where is the where is the doll? The doll is on the bed. Where is the oh, where is the trash? Uh, the trash is in the, in the trash can, or oh, etc. Right. So you you have near over here. You have between, and uh, you have in front of. Okay. So you have some vocabulary. I'm telling you this because later, later you're gonna tell us. Uh, you're gonna describe the place you work. What is what is inside the place you work? So. There are some places around the city that we need to that we need to be aware of, and we need to know how to pronounce those places. Okay, now for example, we have a bank. We have the bookstore. Now you know what's the library and what is the bookstore, right? What is the difference? Library, in the library you study. In the bookstore you go and buy books. Simple like that, right? Bookstore. That is a bookstore. You have a fast food restaurant. You have florist or flower shop. Now let us see if we have it in 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 Santa. In, in, I mean, in El Salvador. Do we have banks in El Salvador? Yes. Yeah. Do we have bookstores in El Salvador? Yeah. Yes, we do, right? Do we have fast food restaurants in El Salvador? Maria says yes, right? So do we have flower shops in El Salvador? Yes or yes. no? Yes. yes. Do, do we have hospitals in El Salvador? Yes. Yes. Do we have music stores in El Salvador? Yes. Do we have yes. restaurants over here? Yes. Yes. Do we have schools? Yes. Yeah, right? Supermarkets? Yes, yeah. Toy stores? Yes. Yes, yeah. Uh, pep shop? Yes. yes. Yeah, yes. we do have, yes. right? So we can go there. And sometimes the, the veterinarians are there, right? In El Salvador, it's not only a pet shop, but the veterinarians are there frequently. Okay, now where's the, it's another mm -hmm. expression you can use in order to pro, to add for location or directions, okay? Where is the hospital? Now, please, <clears throat> uh, do me the favor to ask the question. Yo solo voy a decir el lugar y ustedes me van a, me van a hacer la pregunta, okay? Uh -huh. Where is the hospital? Where is the hospital? Huh? Where is the question? 
Where is the pet shop? Hey, where is the pet shop? Pet, pet shop. Now, where, where is the hospital, people? Next to the pet shop. Next to the pet shop. Now, question? Where is the bookstore? Where is the bookstore? Where is the music store? Where is the music store? Okay, now my question is, where is the bookstore, people? Opposite. It's opposite to the music store. But remember, music. you, you say it's on Silver Avenue. Okay, they say opposite to the music store. Okay, so you can, as you can see, well, you will see some maps, right? Fast food restaurants, schools, supermarket, and the vocabulary we have just studied, right? So let's see, it's because I, I, I have some exercises that I want to go and, and solve. Now, there is another way to ask for direction. How do I get there? Or how do I get to the pet shop? Or how do I get to the, to the hospital? How do I get to the nearest uh, pharmacy? But this is one question. Como llego a? How do I get to? How how do how do I get there? Como llego ahí? How do I get to the pharmacy? Como llego a la farmacia? To the nearest pharmacy, a la farmacia más cercana, etc. How do I get to? Okay, this is the question, people. How do I get to? Keep it in mind because you're gonna listen. It, you are gonna put it to practice sooner or later. Now, we have some ways, okay? Some vocabulary, we said this expression is? ¿Se recuerdan? Go ahead. Not, go straight. Not, not exactly go ahead, right? So, but go straight. Go straight. What about this one? Turn left. Turn left. Turn left at or turn left on, on the left, at the left, on the left, okay? What about this one? I, I, I mean, oh, here we have two, right? Turn left, okay? But this is turn? On the right. Okay. Button. Turn right at or turn right on. On the right, at the right, on the right. Now, what what about this info? Uh huh. Okay. What are those? Those are the famous. Okay. Now that's negative, right? Let's say stop. Stop. Now, how do you say semaphore in English? Traffic lights. Uh, traffic those lights. are the traffic lights. Somebody is like looking, looking at those. Well, we're gonna we're gonna go over it quickly because we have I have a lot of now over here. When you provide the directions to somebody, then you you may say now, hey, cross the opposite to go cross the opposite, the opposite. or they go over. go over the. Okay, now. Then we have this, right? Go through the, go through, through. True. Yeah. True. Turn around, turn around, turn, turn yeah. around. Yeah. Follow the road, follow the road, follow the road. Yeah. Now go oh. through, through. True. Yeah, through. But I mean, it's because it's not true, true. Okay, don't say true because if you say true, it, it's like, like esta es una palabra true, true, true. But this is another one, right? Through, through, through. ¿Se oye la diferencia? True. True, through. True, true. Yeah, true, through. True. Yeah, I'm exaggerating, right? So, but that, there is a lot difference between between well, them. True, 
True. Yeah. True, through. True, through. True. True. ¿Sí se oye la diferencia? Sí, sí. Escasamente, pero se, se, se escucha. Son sonidos que hay, que hay que poner en práctica. True, through. Porque no podemos cambiar la palabra. Ya se fijaron. Con cositas así podemos ir cambiando o, o decir el mensaje incorrecto. <risa> Okay, I'm sorry. Now, go straight, turn left, turn right, stop, cross the, or it's opposite to the, or go over, Uh, not exactly like z, uh, Vidal. Zru, zru, no. No es, no es como Z, Vidal. Le, le explico. Es como, es un sonido que no tenemos en realidad en español. Lo único que hay que poner, digamos, la, la lengua, la, la punta de la lengua, hay que ponerla en medio de los dientes de abajo y los de arriba y de ahí hacer sonar eh, esa palabra. Through. 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 Ah, exactly. Okay, la clave es la lengua, ponerla en medio de los dientes de abajo y de arriba y ahí, ahí sale el sonido. True, true. En cambio el otro, true, true, si ustedes fijan con la, cuando hacemos el sonido T, ese sonido la lengua la ponemos prácticamente en, en arriba de nuestro paladar. True, true. Eh, sobre los dientes frontales, pero en la, perdón, en la, en la parte de atrás. Es la diferencia. Cuando ustedes hagan el sonido, se van a dar cuenta. Ok. Ok, now we go over it again, right? Go through. Turn the round. Follow the road until. Mm. Now we have, once again, this is the, <coughs> sorry. This is the, this is the map we saw last time. And that's it, people. Okay, this is everything about it. Okay, it's everything about this. Now, I will stop sharing this. And we're gonna go over one example, one ex some exercises. This is the last uh, PowerPoint presentation I will share with you. You will tell me if it is right or wrong. So in the city, uh, we're gonna see a map. We're, we're gonna see nine maps, okay? And then you are going to, we're gonna read uh, an statement. Then you are gonna tell me if the statement is correct or incorrect, if it is right or if it is wrong, okay? Okay. Uh, oh my goodness, let me see if you're able to see the whole map, yeah. So the cafe is next to the bank. Mm -hmm. oh. No veo, no veo, no veo el café. If you don't see it, it's because. So if you don't see it, because it's right or wrong. Wrong. It's wrong, wrong because we don't see it, right? So maybe it's a mistake. It's a mistake. Oh. Okay. <laughs> now, no, yeah, the police station. <laughs> the police station. Let's see about this 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 uh, map. The police. Let's see if it's if yeah. The police station is over here, right? Now we got. It. Now the police station is between the bank and the chemist. Mm. Chemist. Right. Chemist, chemist. Right. right. It's correct, right? It is correct. Mm -hmm. Now, the train station is next to the restaurant. Mm -hmm. 
Next to the restaurant. Next to the restaurant? Right. Right? Restaurant. Yeah, if, if we start if we start over here, yes, right? Si comenzamos mm -hmm. a caminar desde acá, sí. Aquí está el restaurante, aquí está el train station. Okay. Very good. Now. The hospital is next to the to the hotel. Where is the hospital? Wrong. wrong. That's wrong. Where is the hospital? <laughs> Opposite to the hotel, right? Opposite. It's on Central Avenue. Uh, uh, Opposite to the hotel. The and cinema you... is on the Hill Street. The cinema is on the Hill Street. Do we have a cinema, people? Tenemos un cinema? No está engañando? Ah, yeah. So, the cinema is on the Hill Street. Um, <laughs> no está directamente, pero no, wrong, creo. But so here, right? It's on Hill Street. On Hill Street. On, yeah. So here, right? It's on, it is between the Main Street and the and the and the Hill Street. Oh, okay. Okay. Now the supermarket is behind the train station. Behind the train station. The supermarket is behind okay. this. The train station. Correct, incorrect, right or wrong? Wrong. It's wrong. wrong. Where, where is the where is it the supermarket? Opposite. It's opposite to the train mm -hmm. station. It is not behind, but it's opposite to. Mm -hmm. uh, the school is near the supermarket. Near? Near. Near? Mm -hmm. Yeah, where is the school? The school is over here, right? Right. In, in the supermarket, so here is that far? Right. Está lejos? No. no. Okay, so it right. is right. right, and that's right. it. Quiet, good. Now we've done a great job. <laughs> now give me a second, cause well. We're gonna work with the with a book or with the student's guide. And you will notice that everything that I have presented is related to uh, the topic that's presented in the in the student's guide. Okay. Over here, over here, we're gonna see some more places, like for example, bank. We already know what a bank is, right? And what about a mall? What's a mall, people? What's a mall? Central Commercial. All no. right, yeah. So then we have mall. a bank, we know about, about a bank, we know about a mall, we know about a restaurant, we know about a sport palace, we know about a park, we know about a company, a company, right? Then we know about a school, we know about a church, you know church, right? Church. Yeah? Church. Yeah, you know church. What's church? Iglesia. Yeah, yes. what what's the city hall? Salón de la ciudad, no entra city hall. What is the city hall? Ayuntamiento. Yeah, but in, in a very Salvadorian way. Eh, alcaldía. 
Yeah, that's the alcaldía, right? <laughs> yeah. We have the book for. So you see, we are just like like encounter some some more vocabulary, right? That we need to learn. So well, we're not gonna go over it because um, now we're gonna answer these questions, okay? So for example, which street is the restaurant on? This is the rest. Roosevelt Street. Roosevelt Street. Yes, Avenue. Which which street is the city hall on? Second Avenue. This is a street, right? This is an avenue. Now we have an avenue and we have a street. Roosevelt. Which street is the city hall on? The city hall is on Roosevelt Street. <laughs> on the Roosevelt Street, right? And which street is the park on? Um, <laughs> it's a street, right? So it may be the Barrio Street or the Roosevelt Street. Okay, so if the question were like, which avenue is the park on? Which avenue? The first or the second? Uh, it's between the first and the second. Okay. Yeah. Si dijera acá, por ejemplo, ¿en, ¿en qué avenida está el parque? Ah, está entre la primera y la segunda avenida. Okay, lo mismo pudiéramos decir si, si nos preguntaran acerca de las calles. It's between Bars Street and Roosevelt Street. Okay? You can, you can provide directions in that way. Okay? Remember, you can say uh, opposite to, next to, all right, and uh, well, in front of we don't have right, so because this is opposite, right? Or you can say in front of there also. Okay, now <clears throat> we have some some exercises. So here. What do you notice about prepositions of place? Que notan de los preposiciones de lugar? Hmm. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. What do you notice about them? Uh -huh. Prepositions of place, right? Son las preposiciones del lugar. Uh -huh. ¿No habíamos estudiado esto antes? ¿Sí o no? Son las mismas de preposiciones. Ah, de, de, son las mismas de preposiciones de tiempo. Ok. So, pero acá son las mismas, pero su función es diferente. Ok. Aquí los vamos a ocupar para indicar algún lugar o cómo llegar a un lugar. Ok. For example, con avenidas decimos on for avenue. On. Si vamos a decir en la esquina de on the corner of, on the street, on street, corner, on. and avenue. Avenue. Okay, but in, you say a country, in El Salvador. You say a city, in San Salvador. You say a specific place in the city, in the park. In the park. Or uh, uh, we continue with it, uh, a specific neighborhood in the neighborhood, in, in El Salvador, in San Salvador, in the park, in the neighborhood. Now, the if you talk about that room or an office, you say, at the room, at the meeting room, at work, at a bank. Okay, this is a building, right? This is a building at the bank. This is a place you work 
at work. And this is a this is an office or a room, at the room. Okay. 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 Now uh, we have this exercise. Let us try to solve it. I work in a bank. That is in or in on or at. On. Um. Now, do you see well that? Miran bien ahí. Sí. ¿Está bien así? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, I work in the bar, in the bank. That is, that is on, on, on first. On First Avenue. Good. That's on for, that is on First Avenue in Barth Street. Number two. Their factory is located La Libertad. In, in. in La Libertad. We see training room. At, at. at the training room in. or the cafeteria. In. Is it? The training room or at the cafeteria, right? Up. At the cafeteria. Okay. My relatives go to the mall. And oh, no, no, let me see number four, right? Anna works in the company that is in town. In town. My relatives go to the mall that is. Oh. Oh. on Roosevelt Street. Tell him that we are at, at a meeting room with everybody. Very good. Now, this is quite simple, uh, right? Uh, it's, it's yes, at, at. I... Yeah, at. At, at. Yeah. At, at. Yeah, yeah, this este ejercicio está ya no los habían dado ellos, ¿ve? Yo le intagué a Yeah. So at the meeting room with everybody. Okay, so now what are you going to do? Bueno, esto lo van esto lo van a hacer en este momento van a crear un mapa de donde ustedes trabajan, ¿ok? Y ahí nos van a indicar los lugares que es, se encuentran cerca, ¿ok? Del lugar donde ustedes trabajan. Explíquenlo, ¿ok? A sus demás compañeros. ¿Cuánto tiempo les voy a dar para eso? Les voy a dar que 10 minutos, ¿ok? 10 minutos para que para que ustedes creen su presentación de dónde localizamos el lugar donde ustedes trabajan, ¿ok? Um, después de eso les voy a decir qué es, es la tarea que les quedaría para mañana. Ok, ¿cuál es, cuál es la actividad ahorita, chicos? Mm. La ubicación de... Ok, van a crear un mapa donde se ubica su lugar de trabajo y van a indicar cómo, cómo, se, se, cómo está ubicado, qué otros lugares están ubicados cerca de ahí o cómo, o cómo darnos la dirección para llegar ahí también podría ser una opción. Ok, ok, you have 10 minutes, 10 minutos, luego le voy a pedir a algunos que nos compartan eh, lo que han creado. Y de ahí, pues, vamos a ir viendo si cerramos con la asignación de tareas. Y porque hay trabajo que hacer, ¿ok? So, 10 minutes, 10 minutos.
eh, para los jóvenes que están trabajando en un cuaderno, pueden compartir, tomarle una foto y compartirla en el chat de WhatsApp. Ok, para que nos quede ahí reflejado cómo ustedes ubican el lugar de trabajo. Si lo están haciendo en una PowerPoint, pues nada más nos lo comparten. We are working on page in a page number 40. Okay, I will stop sharing the, 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 the image now.
Okay, people, did you finish? <clears throat> Do you finish? Is there anybody who wants to provide location of your job? You finished already? Okay, let me see. Aidan, did you finish? Aidan? <clears throat> Can you listen to me, Aidan? Adam? Okay, volunteers to present to present location. <clears throat> ¿Quién, ¿Quién se ofrece voluntario para presentar su la ubicación de su trabajo? <clears throat> <laughs> Not yet. Okay, the thing. Well, let us do something. Meanwhile, you finish. Mientras terminan, yo voy a pasar lista. De acuerdo. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Adam. Present teacher. Okay. Allison. Andrea Raquel. Present. Muy bien, ya empezaron a compartir. Perfecto, Jonathan. Ya vi el mapa que hice. Ella nos lo va a presentar, ¿ok? <coughs> ok, Camelia. Present. Okay. Maribel. Dina Maribel. Gerardo, Gilberto, Gladys, <coughs> Héctor Salvador, Henry, Sarlim, Present. Jonathan Josué. Present. Mayra. María Elba. Marisela. Present. Miguel, okay. Miguel Ángel. <coughs> Norma Xiomara. Present teacher. Oscar Josué. Present teacher. Ronan. Present teacher. Salvador Santiago. Vera Liz. Present teacher. Vidal. Present teacher. En Claudia. Quite good people. I really love this. But only Henry and, and this person, I think, never appeared. That's Miguel Langham. Okay. <clears throat> okay, now, yes, I think you... You had enough time, right? So I, I saw Jonathan's uh, map. 
Yeah, that's Jonathan's, right? I don't know if you're ready to tell us about it, Jonathan. Hola, no, no, escuché bien. Can, can you please tell us about location of your job? Ah, eh, bueno, es... Uh, no sé... En... ¿Cómo podría decir? Um, my, my, my work side or my jobs, ¿no? Is um, opposite 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 um, Cabaña Stiro, and in permítame, ya no recuerdo. Is on Doctor Jesús Velasco Street, um, opposite Cabaña Stiro and Credit Campo Bank. Thank you, Jonathan. Okay, it's opposite too. All right. Thank yeah. you very much. Now, anybody else? Raquel, I think you want to participate, right? Raquel. Ah, Raquel, you told me about uh, giving you the opportunity to tell us the tongue twister tonight, right? Raquel me pidió el espacio para el tongue twister esta noche. No sé si siempre sigue en pie la propuesta. Ok, Vidal, tell us about location of to... Ok, Raquel, ok. Now, volunteers, people, I need volunteers then. Okay, thank you, Maricela. Go ahead. Barbara Maricela. Maricela worked yes. <laughs> fast and furiously. Wow. Ahí está, está, preparada, está preparada para la película Fast and Furious. Ahí está. Ahí está. Uh, Ajá, we, que we can see on this What? Uh, okay, go ahead. Go ahead, please. Dice que um, um, Caja de Crédito is on the street, Dr. Jesús Velasco. Is next to Otordolcia de Doctora de Doctor Hing Martinez. Y is Benji Beijing de Pan Pizza. Y between a store master fiesta. Okay, between behind. Okay, ah, between behind. behind. Very okay. good. Wow, fast and furiously. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay, is there any other volunteer? <clears throat> Thank you very much, okay? Is there any other volunteer? Volunteer at one, volunteers at two, volunteers, okay, Vidal. Okay, go ahead, Vidal. Hola, hola. Hello. My, my place of work is Caja de Créditos en Suntepeque. It is on Dr. Jesús Velasco Street, 
in front of theater. Finish. Good, excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you a lot. Okay, it's simple like that, right? So for tomorrow, you're gonna have a challenge. Les gustan los challenges? <laughs> Les gustan los retos? Yes, right? I know you like them. Okay? Para el día de mañana, <clears throat> antes de que se nos termine el tiempo, para el día de mañana, por allí eh, compartí en el grupo de WhatsApp, compartí un, un enlace de, de las ciudades más populares del mundo. Okay? Um, necesito que elijan una y que nos hablen respecto a qué es lo que podemos encontrar ahí, ¿ok? Uh, ¿Por qué es? Porque la ciudad que se presenta ahí es popular, o ¿qué es lo que podemos encontrar ahí si en algún momento visitamos Tokio o algún otro lugar que aparece por ahí? Si no les parece ninguna de las ciudades que ahí están, elijan una, ¿ok? Pueden hablarnos de, de, alguna, de algún lugar acá de, de El Salvador que estaría genial también, ¿ok? No es necesario que, pues, hagan una presentación de 10 minutos, no. Una presentación de 3 minutos es suficiente, ¿ok? Por ahí se van a, se van a encontrar que... Van a, van a, a leer la expresión there is, there are, there is, there are, ¿ok? Eso significa hay. En Santa Ana hay un teatro, un parque, una alcaldía, hay, ¿ok? Si fueran dos parques, hay dos parques, pero ese hay, ya no es there is, es there are. Entonces, por ahí va la cosa, ¿verdad? Que nos digan qué es lo que van, podemos encontrar este, en esas ciudades, ¿ok? Uh, aparte de eso, eh, los que no nos presentaron el mapa del lugar donde ustedes trabajan, pues háganlo, por favor. No nos quedemos con esas ganas de presentar, ¿ok? Eh, si ustedes se dan cuenta, yo me conecto cinco minutos antes de, la, de que inicie la sesión Justamente porque yo, yo quisiera escucharle, hey, teacher, ayer no tuve el espacio de decir la, la actividad, pues aprovechemos estos cinco minutos y, y con gusto pues empezamos a abordar las, las actividades cinco minutos antes, no hay ningún problema. Um, no sé si hay algo, algo que quieran a, aportar a la, a la sesión de este día. ¿Está claro con lo, que, con lo que vamos a trabajar el día de mañana? Let me see. Vamos a ver algo. El tema de mañana. Continuaremos con How to use prepositions of place. Uh, ok. Mañana queda perfecto la actividad que les estoy asignando. Porque ya vamos con there is and there are. El tema que se nos viene es There is and there are. Y justamente, let me see, I will share with you. Para que ustedes vean la expresión que vamos a abordar mañana. Y que seguramente, pues, nos lo van a usar para um, crear su, su pequeña presentación de la ciudad. ¿verdad? Ok, there is. And there are. Eso es lo que viene mañana. Ok. There is and there are. Is that right? ¿Estamos claros con la actividad para mañana? Vaya, mm -hmm. tienen esa tarea. Los que no hicieron la actividad de, de los que no lograron, perdón, terminar la actividad de la, del mapa donde se ubica su lugar de trabajo, pues lo tienen pendiente y además de eso tienen el pequeño proyectito, ¿verdad? El, el proyecto de, de, de demostrarnos um, de alguna manera todo lo que se van a llevar del nivel básico de inglés. Vamos hasta el día martes de la otra semana, si Dios permite. Más sin embargo, necesito 
que terminen el, el, el final test. Por ahí estaba chequeando y les escribí a algunos directamente que es necesario que terminen todas las actividades de la plataforma. ¿Ok? Porque el récord este, les puede afectar al final del, del nivel del curso, ¿verdad? Imaginémonos, alguien ha estado 100% en las clases, pero por algún motivo no ha terminado las... Uh, o no ha logrado alcanzar por lo menos el 80% de actividades de la plataforma, entonces eso podría de alguna manera generarles alguna dificultad. Y eso es lo que yo menos quiero para ustedes. ¿De acuerdo? Así que pues todavía tenemos jueves, viernes, sábado, domingo. Y pues yo esperaría que a más tardar, pues yo, yo quisiera que ya el viernes, ¿verdad? Tener resultados... Eh, pero sí, pues, yo sé que ustedes están muy ocupados. Si acaso no lo logran terminar, pues, todavía nos quedaría el lunes. Ya martes es bien difícil, ¿verdad? Y los que sí, por X razón, no han hecho eh, las actividades, pónganse al día. Se los pido para que no vayan a enfrentar ninguna dificultad. ¿De acuerdo? No sé si hay preguntas, participaciones... La tarea de mañana, ¿quién me dice qué es? Que se relate lo que se puede encontrar en las ciudades que se mencionan en el video. Ok, de acuerdo. Esa, esa, solo esa sería la tarea para mañana. Sí, esa es la tarea para mañana, ok. okay. Ya la otra de, 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 de lo que ustedes están elaborando, ya eso pues vamos a ver si lo abordamos viernes o a más tardar lunes, ok. 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 Pero sí están preparados para... Pues es que, es que el, la situación es que todavía no me han dicho en qué momento vamos, vamos a llenar el formulario. Entonces puede ser jueves, viernes o lunes. Por ahí nos vamos. Okay. ok. Entonces sí serían las dos para mañana. Bueno, mañana es jueves. No, mejor quedémonos, quedémonos solo con la... Perdón, solo con lo de la ciudad, mejor para darles más tiempo, uh -huh. ¿ok? Está Solo bien. con la de la ciudad. Uh -huh. Y miren, para que terminen el final test, para que terminemos con tranquilidad el, 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 el examen, pues vamos a dejar mejor lo de, lo de la presentación para el lunes o martes, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Ok, así pues ya no, no corremos con tantas cosas, ¿ok? Está bien. Gracias. Eh, Ok. Uh, ¿No hay preguntas? No. Ok. ¿Nos quedamos acá? See you tomorrow. God bless you and have a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, good night. Good night everybody. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. <laughs> good night.